In today's video, we will discuss the various types of skeletal muscle contractions. The electrochemical connection between a motor neuron and a target muscle fiber forms through the release of the neurotransmitter chemical acetylcholine with each electrical activity of the neuron. All of the innervated muscle fibers of a motor unit will respond simultaneously to each electrical discharge of the motor neuron. Each fiber is made of myofibrils, which are in turn made of repeated cylindrical units called a sarcomere. The sarcomere forms the smallest functional unit of a muscle fiber with respect to contraction. It is composed of an interdigitated matrix of thick and thin filaments that slide past each other forming cross bridges. These contractile elements are kept in place for efficient sliding activity by the tight collagen tissue that surrounds them. These cross bridges are responsible for the muscle's active force generation. The muscle fibers attach themselves to tendons that can stretch in order to store elastic energy during a contraction. This passively stored energy is independent of the active muscle force generated from motor neuronal excitation. A muscle generates isometric force when its length does not change. That is, the load and contractile force are equivalent. During concentric contractions, on the other hand, the load is less than the contractile force and the muscle shortens. Furthermore, cross bridges will overlap less efficiently at the faster rates of shortening velocity, generating a lower force output. By contrast, for lengthening contractions, also known as eccentric contractions, the load exceeds the muscle's contractile force. During these eccentric contractions, the muscle absorbs the passively generated mechanical energy and produces more force than isometric and concentric contraction at the same level of neuronal activation. If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to The Healthy Flamingo for all of our weekly videos. And thank you again for watching. See you next time.